Christmas, wrapping up rehearsals for a Japanese tour with two benefit concerts at the Count Basie Theater in the town of Red Bank. The shows featured Christmas carols and cover tunes, as well as familiar Bon Jovi material, and the band's sound was apparently miraculous, at least according to Orville Wilmot, who's a maintenance man at the theater. Wilmot, whose hearing had been deteriorating for the last year and a half, says the loud music of the shows inexplicably restored his hearing, and that he hasn't had to use his hearing aid ever since. Wilmot's doctors explain this as an act of God. As for the shows themselves, they went like this. Christmas came two days early to Red Bank, New Jersey, when Bon Jovi the band made a rare benefit performance in the 1300-seat Count Basie Theater. It was an all-out jam celebration that seemed to make one message loud and clear. And so they were. Richie Sambora, David Bryan, Tico Torres, and Alec John Such, all present and accounted for behind frontman John Bon Jovi. Considering that the last venue these guys played in New Jersey was a sold-out giant stadium, this intimate event got them especially close to their hometown fans. It's real home turf, man. You could spit to our houses from here, you know? I like this. This is sort of like having a Christmas party at your mother's house or something. There's just enough people here to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. And keeping in line with the holiday season, proceeds of the show went to several charitable causes, including one very special one, making Christmas dreams come true for some very needy kids. We sent our little elves around to, uh, to see what the kids wanted, you know. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, you do, huh? Well, Santa showed up with everything that everyone wanted, you know. And we really feel good that we got to do that, you know. There's a lot of those smiling kids around uh, in Monmouth County tonight. I know a lot of you guys, uh... Stayed out all night long for tickets. We waited in line from like 12 o'clock in the morning, like 15 hours, we waited until the, um, the tickets went on sale. I know you'd speed dialed your phone 100,000 times to win those tickets from the radio stations. I put the busy buster on my phone and just let it keep ringing and ringing until I could get through, and I finally did. But from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say that uh, maybe you helped make Christmas for some folks a little bit better this year, and for that I thank you. Despite playing in such a tiny venue, Bon Jovi turned in a high-energy performance worthy of any stadium show, topping off the night with some soulful Christmas carols. But now that Christmas is behind them, what can we expect from the newly reunited Bon Jovi for their New Year's resolution? I think we started the resolution already by being there. Yeah, it's us in the 90s, you know? Yep. We're back. We're not ready to give up the crown yet. Bon Jovi says it will be regrouping to record another album for release later this year. That's the news for now.